This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing well. I just got back from a camp trip actually to Death Valley. You guys will be seeing that video probably in the next couple weeks or so, but I wanted to actually take an opportunity to make another video for this month talking about the iPhone 13 Pro. This is actually the Max version. And honestly, I haven't really been super excited to do phone related videos for a while. I just feel like the technology kind of plateaued for a while and I just honestly was kind of tired of talking about phones, to be honest with you. I wanted to focus on other stuff, but I did feel like after recently picking this up that there are some significant improvements over previous generation iPhones. And I thought I would kind of let you guys know what I thought about that in a video. So today we're gonna to be talking about the iPhone 13 Pro, kind of some sample photos I've taken on it over the last month or so. This phone is brand new to me. Obviously it's been out for about six months now. So there's already tons of videos out, but I know that a lot of you guys really love my iPhone videos and I thought I would take a chance today to talk about this for you guys. So to preface this video, I honestly don't shoot on my phone very often at all. Usually it's just for kind of really random everyday moments, candid photos, basically whenever I don't have a camera on me, which is very little of the time nowadays. I usually always have some sort of camera on me, whether it's a point and shoot film camera or a more professional DSLR or mirrorless camera. Most of the time you're gonna find me with some sort of camera strapped onto me, but for the moments that I don't, I obviously use this guy for that. And over the last month or so of owning this phone, I've noticed some significant improvements over the camera system. Everything just looks a lot more polished and clean. And I wanted to share some thoughts on that. Overall, when I'm shooting with a camera, I just enjoy that process a lot more. It's not because I don't think that the camera is good on this whatsoever. That's literally what this video is about. But I do enjoy the process of shooting on a camera a lot more. I like the whole experience from start to finish, being able to edit the photos, and I love the professional look that I'm able to get. I think I can safely say that the camera on this phone is by far the best that I've ever used on a phone. And I think it has to do with a few different reasons. Now, when you look back at previous generation iPhones versus this, you're going to notice a pretty massive difference for phones that were released several years ago. But for example, from last year's model, you might not notice massive jumps. For me, with this iPhone 13 Pro, there are a few main selling points that I think really kind of elevate the camera. The first one's going to be that 3X optical zoom. Now, on previous gen iPhones, you had like a 2.5X, which was great. Uh, but I do feel like the 3X is a bit more of like an actual proper telephoto that I use quite often. I'm finding myself using it more than I ever have with other telephoto lenses. I've always been a really big fan of the telephoto lens on the iPhone just because I feel like you can get a really interesting image that doesn't necessarily look like it was taken on a phone. And the clarity and sharpness on the telephoto lens is pretty incredible. I have been posting a lot of the photos that I've been taking with this phone over on my Instagram stories. And a lot of you have messaged me asking me what camera was it shot on? You know, was this shot on a Fuji medium format camera? Was it shot on a Canon R5? And no, <laughs> it was actually all shot on this. For the most part, if you're seeing a photo on my Instagram story, I'm shooting it with this guy. Um, I do also share some photos taken with the iPhone over on my second account. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll link that down below but I'm really impressed, especially with that zoom. I feel like it has a really nice compression to it and it makes isolating subjects and landscapes a lot easier. I also haven't played around with the raw format until recently picking up this new iPhone, so that's been fun to mess around with. I do feel like it's fairly similar to a JPEG image. You're not getting a ton more detail necessarily or added sharpness or the ability to mess around with it too much. I do think though, if you wanna import it into Lightroom or Capture One, something like that, you're gonna notice a difference for sure. But again, it still is shot on a phone, so I don't think that that's anything to be too alarmed about. Now, I'm not sure exactly what Apple has done to change the actual image processing on this phone, but I do feel like the actual taking of the image has gotten a lot faster and smoother. That's probably due to some software updates and some actual improvements to the camera and the processor overall. I do know for a fact that they have a brand new sensor in this phone. I'm not sure exactly how much that's actually going into play here with the quality and the look and feel of the images. But I do feel like through and through everything from the ultra wide to that telephoto lens, everything is very sharp, clean. Uh, it doesn't look too digitized. You know, the HDR I've always thought is kind of a lot on phones. I think it kind of looks unrealistic a lot of the time. And for this phone, you know, it looks just as it would on any other phone for the most part. Sometimes you're gonna take images that just don't look very natural. And that's just the way it is because of the way that the HDR works on these phones' cameras. But overall, the photos that you can take on this phone definitely have that same beautiful look and feel that every iPhone has in the past. And I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. Something else that I've noticed is a significant improvement in night mode. Now, again, this might be due to a new processor or the ability to kind of process images more quickly. But I feel like the night mode, especially in the ultra wide, is a lot cleaner than it used to be. The ultra wide camera in general, I think has just gotten a lot better. It's never really something that I've been super into using. I think it just looks a little too fisheye for my liking. 
I usually stick to just the standard wide focal length. I think for me that works really nicely, but I have noticed on that ultra wide lens, it's gotten a lot less distorted and it feels a lot more of a natural focal length, which is great. And you know, from time to time I might use this, but for the most part, I don't really see that fitting into kinds of images that I would really take for the most part. It's really nice for interiors or concert photos, stuff like that, where you want to get the full scene without being able to step back or maybe you don't have space and you can just instantly just widen your field of view. The ultra wide lens is great for that. Now on the video side of things, again, I don't think this is necessarily brand new to iPhone 13 Pro, but I haven't really updated my phone <laughs> very recently and I haven't updated any of the software features. So being able to shoot ProRes video on the iPhone 13 Pro has been a pretty big game changer for me, especially when I want to include video footage in YouTube videos like this and I want to just be able to take the footage myself. Maybe I'm out and about and I just want to take a quick little 15 second video to put into a larger video, you know, in the next month or so. This is great for that because ProRes works really well on pretty much every single computer. It flows really nicely. The codec is nice and easy to handle and the footage looks great. It's really nice, crispy. For me, I think it's good enough to throw into a video. I haven't really done a lot of iPhone video in years past just because I don't feel like the quality has really been there. I like to uphold a certain standard and quality to the videos on this YouTube channel and I feel like shooting ProRes on this now is definitely going to enable me to do that. So I'm excited to be able to bring this thing along with me. I feel like it's gonna be a very natural kind of way to integrate kind of first person footage into my videos and I think it's gonna work really well. Now for me, I don't really care too much about any of the other features with this iPhone. You guys aren't watching this video for me to just list off a bunch of features and say that, you know, the camera is 15% more improved in this or it's, you know, 30 times better than previous generation. I don't really talk like that. It's not really like my way of reviewing products. I wanted to make this video because I feel like for me personally, I'm very happy with the images I've been able to take and the video as well on this iPhone 13 Pro Max. And when I enjoy a product like this, I feel like this is a great opportunity for me to make a video. I never really like to recommend anything to you guys that I wouldn't personally use myself. And I've really been enjoying this thing. That's really as simple as that. The photos I've been able to take look a lot better than I've been able to take on previous phones. Um, iPhones included in that and I'm just happy with the results. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Take care and we'll see you guys next week. Before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best choice out there, in my opinion, to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates, which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier. 24 seven customer support for all of your questions and tons of customizable design and layout choices to really make your website stand out. For a photographer like myself running a small business with multiple different kinds of needs, Squarespace really just makes sense. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins, which is in the description to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week.